Hello there, this is the EGF animator uh, you can see on the screen. Um, this is actually the second version. So, what is new with, the ver with this version? Well, when you look at it, there's, it looks very similar. If we go on file, it's slightly different. I've made it so you can save a structure, and you can save a file which is a structure and an animation. So, you can import a structure you've made and open them. They've got a different saving mechanism than before, because before I was just using GameMaker's own save game. So, I could just import a structure, let's just import my human, I've been making for a tutorial. And here he is. So, we've just got a human. The next feature um, is here, and when it says play at the top, it says get animation code, get structure code. These are two really important things. I've, I'm covering these in a different video, but these are basically will give you the code for your animations and your structures. So that's really great. The info tab is slightly different. Obviously, it brings up the information. Uh, I think I've changed some of the descriptions and the controls slightly the way I've described them. The major thing in this that I've changed is actually the future updates. Because obviously I've updated most of the things that I wanted to put in this new version. I did originally say I wanted to render animations, but I do not feel that we need that because this is just an animator for your games. So what are the future updates? Well. Add D3D models to a bone. Now I use D3D uh, with Game Maker because it's really easy to put on. Um, I don't know whether there are other ones. Some people use GM Mod, I believe it's called, and some people have codes to put in OBJs and I think 3DSs as well. But I'm only going to use D3D. Introducing Z rotations for the bones. Now this is probably going to be the, a really big update because at the moment you can only really rotate the whole thing when you add it into your own game and I want to be able to create this whole Z rotation thing as well as X and Y. It will make more sense when I actually put that version in. I want to be able to move the bone structures so at the moment your structure is just in zero 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 but I want to be able to move the X, the Y and the Z so maybe you could animate a whole animation in there or maybe you could just move your character just about in your X, Y and Z just a little bit and so you can just move your character about and just make your animations that you can put in your games better Improve GUI now so people have said to me, oh, it's really boring, it's grey, it's horrible. You know, you ch at least change the colour system. And some other guy said on YouTube, hey, you need some sprites here. Make it more sprite based. So, I'm going to actually call out to you guys. Um, if you think you can come up with a better GUI, then, you know, when I say GUI, I mean graphical user interface. So, if you can come up with a better interface, just sort of make a picture and send it to me via YouTube. Just send it to me. Just say, this is what I think it should look like. But <laughs> if you make, just help me with that. That would be great. So hopefully just making it easy, just a better looking thing than just this horrible grey thing. Just, you know, it's very grey. But I, it, it does what it needs to do. So what else is new? Well, there's about three major things that I can say. Where you've got your bones controller. So, we've got our bones. We can actually change the X, the length, the base, and the Y rotation. So the X rotation, the Y rotation, the length, and the base. We can change them by just typing in what we want, as opposed to having to click on these, like up and down we can just type in what we want so if I wanted this to say B um, 80 I can just type it in 
and oh look, the arm is now 80 degrees. And that's um, really useful. Oh, that's zero degrees. Sometimes it's not <laughs> that good. I mean, it, it will only allow you to type in three. So you can type in three letters, or you can type in two or one, and then press enter. But sometimes it's a bit slow. So, I mean, I'm not that good at typing it with it. You can also, this sounds like it should be really simple, but you, if you press minus whenever you're typing, so if I just type in 60, so I just typed in 60, and I just press the minus button, and then enter, it goes to minus 60. So, if you press the minus button, then it just makes it minus. But it, if you don't press the minus button, it's going to be positive. Um, what else have we done? Well, there's a looping animation. So, if I just get up my animation of this guy, I can show you what I mean. Okay, so here, here's the animation of him. Let's just zoom out a bit and just get a nice view okay so if I just play it through it's obviously he's walking but he just stops and you have to press play again for it to happen what this loop function does is when you click click it and you play he will play it and then he'll just keep doing it now sometimes this looks wrong if your frame one and your last frame, so your first frame and your last frame are different, I'll show you what I mean by that. If we were to say take off the last two frames and we just play it, it doesn't look bad. But if we loop it now, he walks and then he just jumps. Look, he jumps. So you want to make sure your frame, your first frame and your last frame are the same to be smooth, like this here there we go, that's that's smooth smooth movement because the first frame and the last frame are the same now if you want to make frames be the same before you had to just sort of remember what your rotations went now you can select a frame and also make your structure have the position of the frame so if I were to select frame 8 by just left clicking on it I select the frame 8 and I can set it to be whatever but if I right click click frame 8 it moves our structure on the screen so you can do this for any frame so if I were to say frame 5 I'm not too happy with it I can just right click it and then just edit it maybe I can set it again and or you can just left click it and then it stays what what you already had on screen so if I had frame 9 after if I just played the animation through once it's now on this position which is the frame 1 frame 9 uh, position I think it's actually frame 9 and if I just were to make click left click frame 6 it will be what frame 9 looks like but if I were to right click frame 6 it moves into frame 6 position and if I were to set it it will pretty much do nothing because it's already set like that I mean it's just really helpful just when you're editing just to be able to right click maybe change small things you could do an arm at a time a leg at a time and that's just really helpful so that's it. I mean, these are the main things that I've edited. And uh, they, they do actually help the program a lot. So hopefully you'll find it more useful. And you'll be able to actually put in your animations to games, which is great. So, yeah. I'll leave you with this man walking.